Man, Keith Thurman goes absolutely in on Bob Arum. And I want to give my reaction to that. Let me know what you guys think. We'll jump right into it. Smash the like button. Hit the bell notification for the latest and greatest in boxing. Keith Thurman went live on Instagram and he had a mouthful to say. I will play and pause and try to get through some of this. I'm not going to play the whole thing. If you want the whole video uninterrupted, I did post it on my channel. So check that. And I'll try to put the link in the description. Nothing to EJ. You know, you know what I'm saying? Fuck Bob Aaron. Wow. Okay. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. Fuck Bob Aaron. All right. Why are you talking oh, shit, shit, Bob? Keep your goddamn mouth shut. Now, this is in response to, I believe, an interview that Bob Aram did with Barbershop Conversation. I personally haven't heard the interview as of recording this video, but I heard of and heard some of the things he was saying. And he basically, from what I gather, what I was told is Bob Aram mentioned that Keith Thurman and his people reached out for a Terrence Crawford fight, but it didn't materialize. And it sounds like because this is really within a, probably a day's time. Keith Thurman is responding. He's like, F Bob Aram. Another thing to note is when have you heard somebody say this? They say Al Heyman is the cancer of boxing and all this stuff. When do you hear people say F Al Heyman, like fighters and stuff like that? We'll keep going, though. Keep your goddamn mouth shut, Bob. You want a cheap ass fight? Psst, I'll punch you in your shit for free. How about that? <laughs> wow, that's out of pocket. He said, I'll punch you in your Wow. That was the only cheap ass shit you're going to get out of me. I'll give you a free lick, boy. Man, Keith out here talking spicy, y'all. Let's keep going. Look, man. I'm going to snap on Bob real quick. Bob, you a piece of shit. You're one of the worst fucking promoters in the game. Okay? All of your great fight. <laughs> wow, Keith is going in. He said you a piece of ish. And you one of the worst in the game. Wow. Keith had to get this off his chest. We're going to let that bitch breathe. Bob, real quick. Bob, you a piece of shit. You one of the worst fucking promoters in the game. Okay? All of your great fighters left your ass. Oscar De La Hoya left your ass. Floyd Mayweather left your ass. Manny Pacquiao left your ass. Am I missing anybody? Shoot. He said, did I miss anybody? He actually did. In addition to De La Hoya, Floyd, easy work. I ain't got to worry about it. Like, like I said before. And I got a videotape of Floyd Mayweather after Javante Tank Davis' hometown fight in Baltimore, which was sold out. And Floyd said, L like I said before, I got a great team, Al Heyman, Mayweather Promotions, and... I made a lot of smart investments. And what Floyd said, it was one of the best investments that he made is investing in himself and buying himself out of his contract. He said he got bought out of his contract. He bought himself out of his top rank contract for under $1 million. It was 750000 if I'm quoting Floyd Mayweather correctly. And we know he's made billions of dollars for boxing, made a billion out of boxing, so... I would say it's worth it. In addition to Keith Thurman's list, um, he said Manny Pacquiao, De La Hoya, Floyd, and he said Crawford about to leave. But Andy Ruiz left and said some disparaging things about top rank after he left. Said they didn't treat me right, they didn't pay me. Um, Mikey Garcia had that long legal battle and says he doesn't really work well with top rank. Um, Chavez Jr. left. So there's a couple of people. Let's keep going. Crawford, he about to leave your ass. He about to leave your ass. Look, man. Keith is out here talking spicy. He said Crawford about to leave you. Now, Crawford's been on record saying every time I'm asked about that, that's my current promoter, and I haven't said anything otherwise. So even though this is Keith Thurman's idea of what's going to happen next, Terrence Crawford, full disclosure, has not said that. Terrence Crawford himself has not said, hey, absolutely, I'm not re-signing with Top Rank or I'm not signing with MTK or whatever. I'm going directly to PBC. So this is pure 
conjecture on behalf of Keith One Time Thurman. So just so we're clear. Shoot. Crawford. He about to leave your ass. He about to leave your ass. Look, man. Bob. Bob, you know what's up. You know I never asked for anything. It ain't my fault. You can't afford a great fight. Okay? You cheap as shit. You can barely pay your own fighters good money. Okay? He said you cheap, Bob. You can barely pay your own fighters good money. That ain't my fault. That ain't his fault. You got ESPN backing you. And ESPN is backed by Disney. Keep going, Keith. You got Terrence Crawford, one of the most talented Walter Waits in the Walter Waite division. And you, you can't get him paid. You can't make him famous enough. You got Max Kellerman sipping on all the Crawford juice. And I love Crawford too. Pause. He says sipping on the Crawford juice. I wouldn't have said that, but that's just me. Let's keep going with the reaction. He's a great fighter since the amateurs. I love that boy. I love all my peers. Because we, we the real ones. We the real ones. Bob, Bob, what did $2 million buy you your last fight? A bullshit ass fight? Come on now. He's talking about Terrence Crawford and Kell Brook, but slow it down. Let's go back one stanza. Before he started talking about what did $2 million get you in your last fight, which I will review, like rewind it so you guys can rehear that. But I got to make this point. Terrence Crawford, just his team, I've seen like the way they interact and intermingle with certain PBC fighters. And one thing that I've noticed versus the PBC fighters when they reference Terrence Crawford, I feel like there's a level of respect shown from PBC fighters. For example, and I know some people are scratching their head. Oh, what are you talking about, Eagle? Let me explain. Smash the like button. What I'm talking about is this. When there's a camera and a mic in front of Errol Spence, Sean Porter, Keith Thurman's face, and they happen to be talking about Terrence Crawford or asked about Terrence Crawford or ranting about Terrence Crawford, it's predominantly about boxing, things that pertain to boxing, and the business of boxing. Like Errol Spence, he's saying, oh, yeah, we could do 60-40 my way. I I'm, I'm the man. Big fish. Man now. Right? Or he'll say 70-30 or whatever. But that's still boxing. That's still boxing conversation. Versus when I hear Terrence Crawford's side, Bo Mack, Terrence Crawford, Bernie, different people on his team or affiliated with his team, and they're talking about Errol Spence or Keith Thurman, it's like stuff that like teeters on just regular trash talk and boxing, like I'll beat you, I'll whoop you, you can't beat me, boom, boom, boom. And it teeters on like just outside of boxing stuff, like Errol Spence is a drunk, Errol Spence got a DUI, Errol Spence flew through a car. We ain't doing no dumb like Errol Spence. It's stuff like that, which really that don't have nothing to do with who would win in the fight or the boxing, right? Sean Porter, you heard uh, Bernie recently say Sean Porter will get stopped and stuff like that. And okay, that's boxing, but he's like, man, Sean Porter's a weight bully and Sean Porter ain't all that and boom, boom, boom. And, you know, you heard Bernie say Derek James ain't all that when he was a fighter. It, it's just like stuff that, like, what is Derek James? He's not the fighter that Crawford would have to fight. You see what I'm saying? Versus, comparatively speaking, when PBC fighters are talking about Keith Thurman, just note this down, I've noticed they're not disrespecting Crawford with above and beyond things. I, that's that's my personal opinion. Keith Thurman, he, he's disrespecting Bob, like, you know what I'm saying, saying, hey, you a piece of ish, but he's at least explaining why he feels this way, and he's saying, you cheap. You can't get your fighter a good fight. That's not my problem. But he just said Terrence Crawford is a great fighter. You know, I respect that boy. I watched him since the amateurs. He can scrap. I respect my peers. Same thing with Errol Spence. Errol Spence said, oh, yeah, Terrence Crawford, he's he a, he a good fighter. He's skilled. And Sean Porter, he's like, yeah, that's my friend or we're cool. But we can separate the business and get the fight crack and blah, blah, blah. Once again, when I hear Team Crawford speak on behalf of Keith Thurman, they calling him like, bum and this or Keith Thurman is weak and he ain't got no damn belt it's just like a different vitriol or energy or venom and I just want to make that di distinction for you he you got said, Max Kellerman sipping on all the Crawford juice and I love Crawford too see? he's a great fighter since the amateurs I love that boy I love all my peers because we we the real ones 
See, he said like like so he don't make it sound like it's personal with Terrence Crawford. It's just business. I'll fight him. You know, he's a fellow combatant. But when you say Errol Spence, you know, he he made a mistake, which we know with the DUI or drunk driving and almost claimed his life. That's you know, what what does that have to do with the boxing aspect? All this stuff that even this Keith Thurman rant is still about boxing. He's saying your promoter can't afford the PBC guys, can't get you the good fights. That's not your fight, or that's not our problem. You, you're you not going to just get us on discount. Look at all the other top fighters left. That's all boxing conversation. So I just want that distinction noted. We're the real ones. Bob, Bob, what did $2 million buy you your last fight? Kell Brook fight. A bullshit-ass fight. Come on now. Come on now, Bob. Okay? I speak that realness. Thurman ain't no punk. All right, you don't knock me in the ropes, watch me curl up like a dog, fights over. When was Thurman ever fight over? All right? Knock down, body shot, fought with him. I like that from Keith. He's simply saying, when have you seen me fight anybody where when the going got tough, I just got, you know, decimated? Because that's really what happened to Kel Brook. So basically, realistically... In my fight, but but you know he uh, he was doing all right. I had him winning, kind of a slow paced fight. Crawford opened up in the third round, fourth round caught him over his jab or whatever, and he just scurried back and he looked shell shocked and like he has PTSD or something. Like he looked out of here, he looked out of here, and I like that Keith Thurman is making that distinction, saying, "When have you ever seen that from me? Like when have you ever seen a Keith Thurman one time fight?" He said, I've been knocked down, obviously referring to the Manny Pacquiao fight. Do, 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 do. Right. He said, um, Jose Cito hurt with body shot. Luis Colazo, he's probably talking about one of those fights. But he says, I, I still rise to the occasion and still scrap. You ain't never seen me just get curled up like a dog and wither away. So I like that. Uh, fight's over. Come on now. Come on now, Bob. Okay. I speak that realness. Thurman ain't no punk. All right, you don't knock me in the ropes, watch me curl up like a dog, fight's over. When was Thurman ever fight over? All right? Knock down, body shot. Meaning he hadn't been stopped. Fought with injuries, hurt hands, hurt elbows. Me and Sean Porter were Showtime's fight of the year. Me and Danny, C Danny Garcia was a great fight. I fought him with bone spurs. Me and Pacquiao was a very exciting fight. I fought him almost one-handed. Okay? And now you mad because the PBC opponents, you can't afford a PBC fighter. You don't, you can't afford us, Bob. I'm sorry. All right? So this should be very telling to me for Terrence Crawford. He's saying you can't afford us. So that means the way I'm interpreting it is the amount we've rent crunch numbers or the amount of money that you think you're going to get us for we're getting well above that so it's not going to happen like that that's that's how i perceive it so he's basically saying it's cool and ironically that's what sean porter basically said he said i want the crawford fight but not for a million dollars you got to do it. come on you ain't going to disrespect me with a mill you cheap you cheap you want fucking discounts I know it's COVID. I know it's hard out here in the streets. We all feel it. We all know it. You know what I'm saying? But you ain't going to get me on no discount. You ain't going to pay no full price, but you ain't getting no discount. Look, Bob, stop talking shit. All right? Stop talking shit. You're a horrible fucking promoter. You got all this talent. You can't do shit with it. All right? PBC, we make money together, baby. We do it all together. All right. You wouldn't have a dime in the bank account if it wasn't for all the Mexicans and Africans and Filipinos and all the other ethnicities that you've ever worked with throughout your whole career. All right. And then you don't want to pay people. There's a world class boxing. You can't afford a world class fight. You got ESPN backing you. They don't got no money, Bob. They don't got no money. Man, look. Stop talking shit. All right? Ain't gonna be no fight. You can't afford it. All right? You offered Sean Porter $1 million. 
What's one million dollars after taxes? Six hundred thousand? Man, get the fuck out of our face, Bob. Get the fuck out of our faces. All right. That man going off. Again, check out the full video. I drop ill content, dope content like this. This is just my reaction to it. But if you want the straight through, I'll try to put the link in the description. Keith Thurman is going off. And I really feel he's making a point. You know, at the end of the day, this is what the problem is. Crawford is aligned with a side and they don't have anyone for him. That really drives the numbers and anticipation and stuff like that. And the bigger names, they've already tasted the bread and the success and been in high profile fight. All of them with PBC. From Danny Garcia, Manny Pacquiao had two fights with PBC. Errol Spence is selling out AT&T Stadium and doing great crowds. And Staples Center, Sean Porter, they've all tasted that. Even the Birdos, he fought Floyd Mayweather on pay-per-view. So they've all tasted that. And that's the thing. When these fighters smarten up and get a taste of that, there's no reversing that. If you've been affiliated with Berto Mayweather or Broner Pacquiao or Keith Thurman Pacquiao, or Errol Spence, Sean Porter money, or Errol Spence, Danny Garcia. This ain't men in black where you could just wave the pin and just and make people forget. So at the end of the day, people see that and they're like, okay, now when they get, they're like, okay, I want to fight Crawford, but I'm not going to do it for, for low money. You know, I've already tasted Keith Thurman. At this point, he fought Danny Garcia. That was an anticipated fight for that year. Sean Porter, did 6 million plus pay-per-views, if I'm not mistaken, on CBS. And he fought Pacquiao. Like, just those three fights alone, on top of when Keith Thurman fought Jesus Soto Carras, it was on the Broner Maidana undercard. So he just has too much big fight experience. And I'm I'm pretty sure that the associated purses for those high-profile fights were lovely. So the the people like Crawford... He ain't never been in a fight with like no Pacquiao, you know, and that's why some people are getting on his case about his resume. So at the end of the day, it's going to be easier to like pull the wool over his eyes if you've never tasted that. You can you can barely help Terrence Crawford make any real money. He's one of the best fighters you've had for years, years. He can't make no money, man. Look, man. That's that's pretty telling too. Like I always say, you have an African American fighter, Terrence Bud Crawford, all the skill in the world. He should be one of the biggest or the biggest. He should have been on the pound for pound list before Lomachenko lost. He should have been on ESPN pound for pound list, but they never put him there until Lomachenko lost. Right now they won't put Canelo there and they put him there. You know what I'm saying? They won't put Errol Spence there, but they'll put him there. But they didn't want to put him there. They waited until a fighter with the complexion for the protection like Lomachenko lost and then they decided okay we'll give it to another one of our guys but why didn't you do that when Teddy Atlas told Terrence Crawford and Andre Ward to their face that Lomachenko with like an 8 and 1 record was better than them and should be ranked higher mm 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 the other thing that Keith Thurman is saying that is very interesting is he's like ESPN they ain't got no money huh they ain't got no money the fighters should be looking at that ESPN is backed by Disney Disney owns ESPN. So how is Disney Plus making all this money? ESPN Plus, they showed the the yearly annual numbers and a lot of it are trending up. So how, like Bob Arum keeps saying stuff about like, oh, we're in a pandemic and, you know, Teofimo, I'm not going to go broke overpaying Teofimo, paying him more than 1.25 and I'm not going to go broke and I could have bought a house instead of paid Crawford and things like that. But at the same time, where where is Disney's money, ESPN's money? Because I know I have a partnership with Disney, and they paying me good, you know, when I promote. And shameless plug, Conor McGregor UFC 257. If you're gonna order it and you would like to use my link, it does help the channel in a phenomenal way. Cue the trailer. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego. A storm is coming. Conor McGregor, the rematch is here. Poirier versus McGregor 2, only on ESPN Plus. Use my link in the description. UFC 257. I'll see you.
see you at the fights. So you guys just seen UFC 257. If you want to use my link to support and get the Conor McGregor UFC 257, you can get the ESPN Plus um, pay-per-view as well as a subscription, whatever option you choose. But it does help the channel continue to grow. So, you know, I'm going to play a little bit more of this Keith Thurman, but he, he's bringing up a substantial point. ESPN, a lot of money, top sports broadcaster owned by Disney. But when you hear Bob Arum talk about some of these fights, it's like, oh, we couldn't get that done because of the pandemic. Oh, the, you know, he's saying Australia has a problem with the George Camboso fight, but maybe it's because Teofimo wants an exuberant amount of money. So he's saying he's blaming it on the Rona because you knew whatever protocol that Australia has for big fights, you've been telling people and talking about Teofimo fighting George Camboso. But now that Teofimo is out there saying he won five, eight, nine, ten million dollars. Now all of a sudden they're saying the fight may not happen until the pandemic's over. So it sounds like Bob Arum, at least from the outside looking in, don't want to pay what Teofimo is asking for. So he's finding a, another way out. And that's kind of what Keith Thurman is saying. Like, how you got one of the best fighters in the world and you can't do nothing with him? You can't find a way to get him For paid? years. Years. He can't make no more. Get the fuck out of our faces. All right? You can, you can barely help Terrence Crawford make any real money. He's one of the best fighters you've had for years. Years. He can't make no money. Man. Look, man. I don't need no $10 million. But I need some respect. And the respect come in the check. All right? The respect come in the check. Ain't my fault that I'm an opponent and I'm worth more money than your champion. Your undefeated welterweight champion. That ain't my fault. That's your fault, Bob. That's your fault, Bob. That's evidence of you doing a shitty ass job, Bob. Okay? Wow, this man is killing and drilling. Listen, I'm gonna stop it right there. Keith Thurman says that's evidence that you doing a bad job. It's not my fault that I'm worth more money and get paid more money, basically, than your champion. Your WBO champion. That's promotionally your what you're doing. You know, he he cut the ponytail and he he talking spicy. So that's basically my reaction. Let me know how you guys take this. Um, watch the full Keith Thurman rant, and he he was really going in. I'm gonna have more thoughts as the week goes on, but that's my initial thoughts for Keith Thurman. I I really agree with a lot of what he's saying. He's he's obviously being harsh and you know just saying it blunt and cutthroat. But it's hard to dismiss the what he's actually saying. Like a lot of what he's saying, Floyd Mayweather said the same thing. Previous fighters said the same thing. Seems like everyone sees it but Terrence Crawford. But I will close with this. There's a lot of pressure on Terrence Crawford's next move. We'll see what he decides to do because the time is ticking and people got to see what you're going to do next. Crawford is a great fighter. But at the end of the day, the game don't wait. You got people bragging like Keith Thurman saying, I get more than him. And I'm now a challenger. I lost my belts, but I still am worth more. And that's a testament to the job that you're doing. So very, very interesting stuff here. And, you know, Crawford's next move is going to be very pivotal to see what's decided. And in closing, Tim Bradley did this whole rant on national TV on ESPN saying all the PBC fighters were afraid of Crawford. Give them a chance and they're ducking. Keith Thurman is aggressively calling him out, but saying you're not going to get no discounts or, you know, you're going to have to pay me what I'm worth or comparable to what I've been making or whatever. And we can get it cracking. And then so does Sean Porter. Bob Arum's throwing out one million. But how do you give Sean Porter an offer of one million publicly? But you offered Kell Brook and he potentially had two bad eyes and had him made wait in three years. You give him two million dollars. You know, the report suggests that Amir Khan made upwards of five, seven million dollars when he fought Crawford on pay-per-view. But now all of a sudden, you know, guys like Sean Porter, who has losses, but they're all respectable. Guys like Keith Thurman, he lost to Pacquiao. That's a legend, Hall of Famer. And you you trying to give Sean Porter a million dollars? You trying to get Keith Thurman? He said it don't have to be 10 million, but you're going to have to pay like you weigh. And so show me some respect via that check. 
It's looking ugly. Let me know what you guys think. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego. Subscribe. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more sports. Get unlimited access to premium content with an ESPN Plus subscription. ESPN Plus offers a variety of content, including specials, behind the scenes, docu-series like Bruce Lee's Be Water, and much more. With an ESPN Plus subscription, you get access to a ton of classic archive fights and replays from boxing and the UFC. Big names like, hi, I'm Mike Tyson, come and watch my fight, Floyd Mayweather, easy work, I'm rich, and Manny Pacquiao. Uh, yes, it's up to my promoter. Do, 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 do. Just to name a few. If that's not enough, you could get the ESPN bundle, which includes ESPN Plus, Hulu, and Disney Plus. All three apps, one low price. You don't want to miss out. Make sure you guys click that link in the description box of all of my videos. Ego, signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button, and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.